So you'd like to find out a bit more about the Customer Experience Management Certification uh, Program. Well, my name is Colin Shaw. Uh, I'm the founder of Beyond Philosophy. Uh, I'm also very proud to be one of the LinkedIn influencers, one of the top 150 influencers around the world as defined by LinkedIn. Um, and the team have asked me to spend a little bit of time with you explaining to you what this program is about and what will be covered in this uh, program. A little bit about uh, Beyond Philosophy first of all because it's important that you understand who you're dealing with. Um, Beyond Philosophy are one of the first organizations to focus on customer experience. We've now been going since 2002, so our experience is vast. We've had years of, of uh, uh, helping organizations improve their customer experience. I've written four books on the subject, which everybody uses as the backbone to how to go about improving their experience. Um, we've worked globally. Uh, we've worked in Africa. We've worked in Russia. We've worked in the Far East. We've worked in uh, a lot in the States and in Europe. So our experience is vast. Uh, there are not many organizations or industries that we haven't worked in. Why would you come to an organization like Beyond Philosophy? Well, we believe that a customer experience is not just about a rational experience. It's about an emotional experience as well. Over 50% of a customer experience is about how a customer feels. So we don't just look at the rational side of an experience. We look at the emotional side of an experience. We look at the subconscious experience, and we also look at experience psychology. And these are all the things that we're going to be talking to you about on this program. And we put science behind this and evidence behind this, and you'll see that as we go. As I said to you, we've worked across the globe. We've worked with many, many, many blue chip organizations from around the globe and had many successes. One of our biggest successes has been with Maersk Line. Forrester did a piece of independent research on Maersk Line, and Maersk Line improved their net promoter score from minus 10 to plus 30 in the space of 30 months, so a 40-point increase in the space of 30 months. That equated to, for every four-point rise in net promoter, they got a 1% rise in their shipping volumes, so a 10% rise in shipping volumes overall, and also the training that they undertook on customer experience uh, showed uh, that, that that training uh, gave them a rise in um, net promoter as well. And these are all the things that we're going to cover in this program. We're going to cover exactly what we did with Immerse Line to improve their net promoter by 40 points. And we're going to tell you what we did and how we did it uh, and what we've done in other organizations as well. So what is it we're going to cover? First module is about customer experience. So what do we actually mean by this phrase, customer experience? What do we mean by rational, emotional, subconscious, and a psychological experience? How do you go about managing that? What is customer experience management? You know, what do most organizations overlook? How do you physically go about managing this process? We've been working in this area now since 2002, as I said, and we have a vast experience. And over those years, we've developed seven key strategic questions that we believe an organization needs to ask uh, to improve their experience. What are those questions? How are you against them? What is it that you need to do to answer those questions? In module two, we'll talk all about that. In module three, we'll talk about the emotional and the subconscious experience. What do we actually mean by an emotional experience? Which emotions drive value? That was all in our third book, The DNA of Customer Experience, following two years' worth of research. We'll talk to you about that. We'll also talk to you about this subconscious experience and talk about how you can design those things into your experience. In Module 4, we'll look at experience psychology. This is looking at why people and customers, therefore, do the things they do. What's the psychological reason behind it? And let me just stop for a moment and, and say that if you're B2B and you're sitting there and you're thinking, so business to business, should I say, and you're sitting there and thinking to yourself, does this apply to me? Well, let me be absolutely 100% clear, it does. When we talk about experience, psychology, emotion, subconscious, as long as your customers are people, then this applies to you. In Module 5, we're going to be looking about how you go about setting the strategy. What strategy should you have? How do you define 
the strategy. Moreover, what is a program of change that you should be putting in place? And again, been doing this for years, had many successes, so we have a methodology that we want to share with you uh, and explain to you uh, how to go about setting that program. Module 6 starts to look internally in the organization. The reason that you're delivering the experience that you are today is because of the way the organization is. And therefore, you have to, if you need to improve your experience, you also need to improve the customer centricity of the organization. And in this module, we'll look at um, um, the naive to natural model that we built and I wrote about in our second book and talk to you about the nine areas that affect the experience. And finally, in module seven, we're going to use this as a consolidation module, a chance to, to just debate things. So let me be very clear about this. This is a live webinar event. What does that mean? It means that we are mimicking the classroom. It's just that we're not physically present with each other. So the modules are designed to engender debate. The modules are designed to engender networking. The, this is not just a presentation. This is an interactive discussion and to make sure that learning is affected. We also give you homework to do, and you can do that with your other uh, participants. Uh, and then we give you feedback on that homework, and we talk to you about the types of things that you need to change. So who should attend? Well, if you've been asked to improve the customer experience, but not really sure what to do, if you need to have some tools and techniques uh, to implement, then you should be attending this program. If you need to define what your strategy looks like, if you need to understand what are the secrets of success, what are the problems and pitfalls that you're going to uh, run into, then you need to attend this. If you want some practical advice, just some down-to-earth, how the hell do we do this stuff, uh, then you need to attend this program. Because you'll be speaking with the experts and you'll be speaking with other people who are on this journey. If you just want to be stimulated, if you just want to learn about this subject, if you want to understand proven methodology, uh, then you need to attend. And finally, the thing that makes us different to everybody else is if you think your customers are people, then you need to attend this program. Because just looking at the experience from a rational perspective is no longer sustainable. So we very much hope that you'll, uh, uh, we'll be seeing you on the program. And we look forward to you attending and having lots of worthwhile debates with you. Thanks very much. And if you'd like any further information, then please contact us through our website. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.